So I'm going to show you how to use Azure Sub to translate your your synced transcript into another language. So what I have here is I have my uh, video setup and I've got my audio setup and I've got my English uh, translation. Um, I've, got, I've got my English transcript within Azure Sub. So that's on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I've got a Google Translate uh, window open. So I'm going to pick. Um, Obviously, for music, there's nothing to translate. I mean, you can translate into Musica, um, but uh, let's let's. I'll show you a line of text. So what I have here is let's set up the Nexus 10 for the first time. Um, and so under subtitles, under Translate Assistant, because I have that line highlighted, that's the first line. So current two line line two of six. I've got that. Let me just select this, and here I can play let's the audio. Let's set up the Nexus 10. And I can play the video. Let's set up. The Nexus 10 and audio together to give you a sense. If I need that, the first so, thing I'm going to do is over here. I'm going to um, copy that, I'm going to copy and paste that into my English side, and then I'm just going to have this translated into Spanish, real quick. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to bring it back and paste it into the um, translation window. Now, you'll see here are the keyboard shortcuts. In order for me to have this save in the system I need to press enter so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard and let me show you what happened it replaced my text file uh, my English with my um, with Spanish so let me do that again and copy translate now my Spanish is not that great so I'm not entirely sure if this is correct and accurate, but uh, let's assume for a second that Google Translate is doing this correct and accurately. Okay, so then it's going to the third one, and I just keep doing this until I, I go to the end. And then when I go to export, again, it's the same thing. I export as, I pick Unicode, or if I were using a double byte Asian language, I might pick Spanish. Well, Spanish is not going to be one here, but if I were doing Asian, uh, Japanese, or Korean, or uh, Mandarin, or so simplified Chinese. So I can pick the actual format of um, the uh, text file. Again, I stick with Unicode 8. I go to export and here what I want to do is my caption file and then Spanish and then pick sub rip and save. Now I haven't translated the whole file but if we were to go back and look at the file you'd see all the lines translated that were translated would be translated in that file. And that's how you can translate your uh, transcripts into or your um, video uh, your closed captioning into multiple languages.